Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is the end of July 2021 love and general collective tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Scorpio friends out there. Scorpio, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell or the subscribe button, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen, okay? So let's see what's coming forward, Scorpio. What is the message for Scorpio, please? What is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for you, Scorpio, okay? All right, your first card is the five of wands in upright position, temperance card in reverse, Ooh, unexpected message, an unexpected visitor, unexpected invitation, a lot of unexpected. Mm, King of Cups. Um, I feel like you don't like this person. <laughs> I feel like it is someone in the past, Page of Pentacles. Someone's going to message you. They will invite you. They want to see you. Uh, King of Cups. They don't like to be rejected. They don't like to get a no from you. Um, I don't think you're playing hard to hard to get or playing Cupid with this person. I think you're quite busy or it's unexpected of them to invite you. Like I don't out of nowhere, you know, uh, Page of Pentacles. You've received this message. You've received this invitation. An invitation to connect. And it's quite surprising. I feel like you're not interested with this person. King of Cups in reverse. Could be an Aries, Aliyah, Sagittarius. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like you're not interested, and I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. Your Scorpio is not interested with you. They're offering you a page, so I feel like it's not as exciting it is. Um, I don't think this person likes to be rejected. If you said no to them or you did not reply right away, it it is making them feel agitated. Like most especially if it's an ex or a person that you've dated and it was them or it's more of you were you were quite the chaser in the past. Now tables have turned and they're quite sad that they're not getting the same attention from you. Because normally once this person texts or call, you reply right away. But seems to be um you know, temperance card, it could be that you're busy. You know, it could be that you're busy, you're doing something. And they're going to make a comeback. You know, this is not the first time this person is going to connect with you. But they're quite sad, you know. Um, you just give them more reason to pursue you. You know, you know, Magician card, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like end of July to the first two weeks of August, there is a very persuasive person. It's a, it's, it's a love energy. It's a love energy, Scorpio. You're quite in demand. Um, they're not surrendering. Not now. I mean, they have already made their first step. So they won't retreat. This is just for them a challenge. Um, but they didn't like that you didn't respond or you're quite cold on them. Okay, yeah, you're quite cold. Look at that. Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's see what else is coming towards the end of July. What is the message for Scorpio? I'm shuffling the cards. Sorry. You should have, you, know, you should see this. Okay. Three of Cups. Invitation. Celebration. End of July. End of July to oh end of July going to the first week of August. Sure, it is that you've got some invite. You've got some date. You've got some plan outside. Yeah. Wow. So for some of you guys, there were some sort of, I don't know, cancellation. Things were canceled for some of you. Things were canceled in the past. There was something that July, January, um, April month that was canceled. Now, it's going to proceed. And I feel like it's an, it's an invite to date to see each other again. If it's not an invite to date, it's an invite to like... You know, to meet an old friend like in a like someone important, someone who is on board, someone who's someone who is important, someone who is quite a VIP in your life. Like you will meet halfway. Okay. It was it, it was I think due to pandemic or I don't know, travel restriction, but it, it keeps they keep canceling it or you were scheduling 
now you've got a clear schedule and so they are and you know the right plan on how to meet each other is to um you know meet halfway so hopefully this works in your favor because i really like you will enjoy it you know and yeah i feel like it's a written written, uh, written state of connection could be a friend or either a lover okay that's quite ldr they really miss you it's a fated situation the hangman in reverse yeah don't, don't worry it will proceed um i don't know i feel like you're you're worried about the weather the snow um the date that you pick is good all right the date that you pick is good and you're gonna meet halfway so that's really good now the next um reading is you've got the knight of cups the hermit card you could be dealing with the virgo cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius it could be any sign for some of you guys um, Knight of Cups in reverse, the Hermit card. You'd been thinking about this for quite some time now, Scorpio. And I think it's a romantic reading, romantic energy. Knight of Cups, the Hermit card. You've been thinking about surrendering or giving up. Because it's a heavy energy. Do you notice how I shift, you know, from very interactive um, it has shifted to slow and sad and gloomy. There's someone in your life, there's someone that you're thinking, connecting, maybe manifesting, that it's making you sad. I mean, you love this person wholeheartedly, but it's just sad. You know, you're not getting the return of love, the return of affection. It's no longer working, you know. I don't know what stats on. It's just emotion. It's taking, you know, two pentacles. It's, it's time for you to drop the loads that you've been carrying for quite some time now. Two months, two years. But, you know, two of pentacles, you can't juggle two things at the same time. You can't keep with you expired energy, expired people. You need to release, you know. The ship has, has sailed. Um, it, it's telling you to be kind to yourself. This person, this situation, it is a burden versus, um, it's a burden. It's not giving you an advantage. It is causing you some sort of delay, okay? It's, the universe is telling you to give it to them, to release the heavy energy, and um, they will take it from there, okay? Something is delaying you, something is making you sad. Don't keep it. It, ex it is expired, you know, king of swords in reverse. There's no more. That's the end of it. It's more of. There's nothing you can do. The the only thing that's left for you to do is to release, to accept defeat, to accept to accept the end of it. Because if you accept the end of it, defeat, then you win. You win because you're not gonna allow the person to take over or the the low vibe to take over, and you're calling in for a new beginning, a new cycle. There's a new month ahead of us, August. So it's time to really recalibrate your loyalty, your your life, you know. Um, you don't you wanna, you know, it's like it's more of live a little, Scorpio. Live a little, okay? Don't let this disappointment or this failure limit you from whatever it is that you can achieve in your life. I mean, you know, we're gearing towards the end of 2021. Don't be stuck, my friends, you know. There's so much to do, to explore, to love yourself your love your yourself your family your work you know then to be stuck with this person people that's not even interested to be with you you know there's a lot of people and energy that would like to be with you but it's it's blocked by this energy it's quite heavy you know quite heavy so it's time to really you know um hierophant card commit to blocking or releasing seven ones commit to it Commit to staying away from people, situation that is preventing you to bloom, to explore, you know, commit to it. You know, promise yourself, you know, I've got this pledge. Promise yourself to be enthusiastic. That there's so much sunshine and I forgot, I've got this pledge. I've downloaded, I've downloaded it before. That's the reason why the name of my... My channel is sunshine. But hey, Scorpio, you've got so much reason to be happy. 
to enjoy life, life every day, you know, live a little. Don't let this one disappointment or this person take you away from the happiness that, you know, that you've got to meet in the future, okay? Release, commit to loving yourself, respecting yourself, okay? Commit to yourself, commit love to yourself, all right? So this is the reading. It is quite emotional. We started off with something interactive and, you know, relaxed, casual, and then we ended up with a little bit of emotional. That's okay. Sometimes we gotta cry. Sometimes we gotta be emotional to let all of those worries and concerns and feelings. Sometimes we gotta let out that feelings, you know. Tonight, if you're feeling a, if you if you are feeling like you want to feel it one more time and then wrap it up and give it to the universe, they will take it from you. And you'll wake up in the morning and you feel so light, you know? So practice that. So my friend, thank you so much for tuning in. We are offering a subscription plan um, in the website sunshine-tv.com. So if you're interested to have or join with us with a daily collective reading, new moon, full moon, and extended reading, hurry up and subscribe in the blog. It's very affordable and the profit goes to my charity. And also I'm offering a membership here via YouTube. Again, it's the daily collective and full moon and new moon. And all of the profit goes to my favorite charity. Again, thank you, Scorpio. A pleasure doing the reading to you. I will see you soon again. Bye-bye.